and they're off. Guerrero missed the break. And Swift Warrior coming through on the inside. Five Iron is there in the far outside. Seal Cove, and speaking of which, in between horses, on the extreme outside is Managar, forwardly placed. So it's Five Iron, the leader. Managar second in the early going here. Swift Warrior runs along in third. Speaking of which, is in between horses. Tetra Dracum hung out there three wide on the first turn. Seal Cove is sixth and saving ground toward the rail. And then it's Warm Front, Unbridled Ocean, Sky Blazer, and Guerrero off a of beat slowly, is the last of them all. So the field moves down the back stretch in a bold front running gambit here for Five Iron. He's thrown down the gauntlet and leads by eight or nine down the back stretch run. Managar lets him go on with it and sits chilly while running along in second. Swift Warrior on the fence is third. Tetra Drachum is a reserve fourth. Speaking of which, drafting in behind horses is now fifth with five furlongs remaining. Then Warm Front sixth on the outside, followed down toward the rail by Seal Cove. Then it's Unbridled Ocean. Sky Blazer, Guerrero is still last. He's been last throughout. The pace is an enervating one. 47 and one was the half mile here for five iron and that lead is evaporating now it's down to just four at the midway point on the turn managar and tetra Drakum second and third and both closing in speaking of which is ready to roll and he moves to daylight on the outside swift warrior down toward the fence and guerrero still last but now he's switched to the far outside still left with a lot to do five iron hanging tough five iron still there two length lead Tetra Drachum, warm front coming hard at him as they come down to the finish. Can Five Iron take him all the way around there? Can he do it? Yes, he can. By three quarters of a diminishing length over warm front, close for third, Tetra Drachum, or speaking of which.